You can now customize and steer audio overviews in Notebook LM. Previously, you could generate audio overviews, but you would just have to take what they gave you, whether it was a seven minute or an 11 minute audio overview. We're gonna compare the customized audio overview to the audio overview generated for a previous video I did on chatting with YouTube videos in Notebook LM. For that video, Notebook LM generated a nine minute audio overview covering all the topics mentioned in the YouTube video. We can take a look at the summary note for the topics covered in the YouTube video. I can validate this because I created this video on Microsoft Clarity. To customize the audio overview and give it direction, I'm going to copy the YouTube link. So I'll click on the data source and I can click on this copy link icon here. And then I'm going to close this out, click on Notebook LM up here in the top left corner, click on New Notebook. Now you can still customize the audio overview in the same notebook, but if you want to keep the original audio overview, you'll have to download it. Maybe they'll add a feature in the future to save audio overviews. But for now, we'll have to create a new notebook. So in this new notebook, we need to add a link. So in the link section, we'll click on YouTube and then paste our YouTube URL, click on insert and click on customize. In this field here, it gives us some suggestions to try to focus on a specific source, a specific topic, or target a specific audience. For example, explain to someone who's new to a field. In our prompt here, we'll say we want to focus on the first section of the video only covering searching for specific web pages and filtering heat maps. Now we'll click on generate and wait for the audio overview to generate. In the meantime, we'll go to the top and rename this notebook to Microsoft Clarity Heat Maps searching for specific pages. As you can see, you don't need to stay on this page and wait for the audio overview to generate. But now that our audio overview has generated, you can see it's now less than six minutes as opposed to nine minutes. And let's give this a listen. I ever wish you could kind of like see your website through your visitor's eyes, like yeah. really get in there and understand, okay, this is where they're clicking, this is where they're like lingering a bit, and then, oh, this is where they totally get lost. Yeah, it's like that moment you realize you've been putting the milk in the cupboard and the cereal in the fridge online. <laughs> Frustrating. Let's say you notice your site's behaving differently on mobile versus desktop. You can filter the data to see heat maps for only mobile users or just desktop users, even specific browsers if you need to get that granular. Whoa, that's seriously powerful. With that audio overview, Notebook LM did a great job focusing on a specific topic within this video. Now we're gonna try another prompt. So we'll click on these three dots and delete this audio overview. If you wanna see the other features, you can look at this tutorial video on the screen or in the description. But we'll confirm the deletion of this audio overview. Click on customize again and then paste in our prompt. And we'll add limit the audio overview to three minutes. And click on generate. That prompt didn't actually produce the desired results. Instead, it yielded a 11 minute video that's over three times, almost four times longer than what I was looking for. Instead, I gave it this prompt where I put the three minute requirement at the beginning of the prompt and it produced much better results, still a bit off, but four minutes is much closer to three minutes than 11 minutes. I tried to further steer the generation of the audio overview by asking it to minimize the intro and cut straight into the topic, but it gave me a audio overview that was more than six minutes. So it seems like the results will vary, but I expect Notebook LM to improve this and allow users to specify and customize with better results. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.